Hello everyone, welcome back to Actual Edge. We are excited to launch the first video in our series exploring the six cases that have seen a cure or long-term remission of HIV. If you find this topic intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our series. Now, let's dive into the incredible story of the Berlin patient. Timothy Ray Brown, also known as the Berlin patient, made history in the fight against HIV. After living with HIV for 11 years, in 2006, he was diagnosed with acute leukemia, a complication not related to this HIV infection or treatment. The failure of chemotherapy led to a different type of solution, a bone marrow transplant aimed not just at treating leukemia, but potentially eradicating HIV from his system. Brown's oncologist, Gero Hutter, orchestrated this groundbreaking strategy. He destroyed Brown's immune system using chemotherapy and whole body irradiation to prepare him for bone marrow transplant. Furthermore, Hutter introduced a game-changing element, finding a donor with rare gene mutation that could potentially block HIV from infecting white blood cells. In a remarkable turn since ditching his antiretroviral drugs after the transplants, Brown showed no signals of HIV replication until his death in 2020. Today we speculate that Brown's new immune system, built from the transplanted marrow, had fought off any remnants of HIV-infected cells, a mechanism known as graft-versus-host disease. Fast forward to a recent study led by Guido Silvestri of Emory University, aiming to unravel this medical mystery through a unique monkey experiment. This study, however, ruled out the possibility that conditioning phase alone involving the destruction and preparation of their immune system could eliminate HIV, leaving the scientific community with more questions and a hint that graft versus host disease might be a central player in Brown's cure. This study has propelled us one step closer to understanding the enigma of the Berlin patient's cure. As researchers venture further experimenting with different variables, including the use of HIV-resistant cells in transplants, hope kindles for more answered and perhaps a replicable solution of HIV treatment in the future. And this is the story on how the Berlin patient got cured. If you're interested in this type of content, don't miss episode 2 very soon in the channel, or it might also be in the description of the video if you're watching this days before it's been published. Thank you for listening and see you soon.